Hello everyone, my name is Zach, I am The Traveling Man and I come to you today from the port of Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. And today, I'm gonna show you all around Puerto Plata on a shore excursion from my friends at Shore Excursions Group. So come on if you're ready, let's get this adventure here in the Dominican Republic started. So we'll start our day here in Puerto Plata walking to the meeting location for our excursion. So you can see I've just left my cruise ship and I'm walking along the pier. Uh, it's probably gonna be about a 15 to 20 minute walk to get over there. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll just sort of show you the general direction that you wanna head once you get off your ship, walk down the pier. So now that we've reached the end of the pier, we're gonna continue to walk into the shopping district and through all the shops toward our tour meeting location. Now for my tour with Puerto Plata Adventures, uh, we're gonna keep walking through the shopping center. So you do see a sign that says tours and a lot of folks are gathered over there waiting. Those are the ship sponsored tours. So don't pay any attention to that sign. You wanna turn toward the direction of the shopping and restaurants and things like that. And we are still walking through the shops and restaurants and you probably feel at this point that you've missed it somehow, but just keep walking, I promise we're getting there. Well, it is quite a long walk. There are bathrooms along the way, so if you need to stop at the facilities, you certainly can do that. And at this point, you might conclude that you're lost. You can see the ship over there. We're actually at the taxi stand now, but notice we're gonna walk all the way around, bypass the taxis, and we're gonna go out this gate over here, and we'll finally be to the meeting point for our tour today. So our first stop here is actually very close to the cruise port. You can actually see their cruise ships right over there. So we only came about three to five minutes here. And this is uh, the fort here in Puerto Plata. And this fort was built in the 1500s. So it's very old. It was actually built by the Spanish uh, to help ward off the English, the French, the pirates who might come here and try to claim this land from them. And you can see it's a very busy day. There comes the uh, NCL or Norwegian Prima into port, but a beautiful place here, a beautiful place for pictures uh, and a beautiful introduction to Puerto Plata. And the guide was telling us that normally you can go inside the fort, but uh, it's currently 10 a.m. and they don't open until 11. So we're not gonna be going inside of there, but still a beautiful place to walk around and explore on the outside. I'm actually walking just past the fort on the other side because there's actually a good vantage point out here. Be a great place for pictures. And we only have 10 minutes at this stop so you got to be kind of quick but uh it's beautiful over here so if you want to come get a good shot of your cruise ship come over here uh right behind the fort you see we've walked around it all the way around here and on this back side is a great vantage point here and you can actually see the other ships that are coming into port for the day also not a bad spot to come get those cruise ship selfies uh you know everybody likes to uh get the photo of them or the family with the ship in the background this would be a great place to come for that Besides the uh, good cruise ship spotting, there's also really good views of the coast here. So you can see the beautiful blue waters. You can see the waves crashing against the rocks here. So this point here is uh, basically the entryway to the port of Puerto Plata. So a great place to come and visit. I'm on today with Puerto Plata Adventures. Stops here, the very first stop, our first taste introduction to this beautiful place now a little bit about the dominican republic if you've never been here before it is first of all a very beautiful place as you're already seeing from the cliffs but dominican republic is actually on the second largest island in all the caribbean the first largest of course being cuba which is off to our west now the landmass, the island that i mentioned is actually taken up by two countries we have haiti just over to our west and then the dominican republic is on the eastern side of the island and the bigger portion of the island and it's a very diverse country there's a lot to see and do here of course you have puerto plata here on the northern side and then over on the eastern side you have punta cana and all of the famous resorts over there and there's also a port on the southern side as well so if you've cruised before you might have been to santo domingo that's a port on the southern side of the dominican republic so an island that's very very popular for cruise ships our second stop today is the San Felipe de Puerto Plata region or the historic downtown of Puerto Plata and we're gonna walk around a walking tour uh, here you can see the whole group is right here 
and our tour guide, Coach Winston, is gonna walk us around and tell us about the beautiful downtown area of Puerto Plata. Go thank God the whole island. But this guy you see right here, is, that is, the, the name of this guy was from Pablo Duarte. This guy was born right here, but he had the opportunity to go to Pestari, to Spain, and also he was living for a while of French. He saw. Dominant religion in the Dominican Republic is Catholicism. 65% of residents in the Dominican Republic practice Catholicism. So of course, churches, cathedrals, very important here to the culture. So we've come into this one. This particular cathedral was built in the 1950s, or finished rather in the 1950s, but it's beautiful. And it's right here, uh, just inside the town square. You saw where we just were a few minutes ago. You can see right out there. Uh, so it's right here in the town square and i did want to mention you see a lot of christmas decorations in the clips because we are here in december of 2023 when i'm filming this but i uh, did want to show this very beautiful church that we're inside and look at the beautiful stained glass uh, they said that all of these were donated or given by families so you see the inscriptions at the bottom you see it says fam and it has the family name they all show who actually donated those but beautiful a lot of use of mahogany in here mahogany wood and then all the windows and doors are kept open uh, because it is so warm here. Despite it being December, it is 81 degrees Fahrenheit right now and very, very humid. We've arrived at the Umbrella Street, as it's called here in Puerto Plata. And of course, it's just a street that's uh, topped with a ton of umbrellas, colorful umbrellas. So a really good place to come if you're wanting to get a good selfie. I know this is very popular uh, really all across the Caribbean and all across Europe and probably the world now. But in a lot of places that I visit, you see Umbrella Streets. They're really cool. And the cool thing about this one is there's a lot of uh, local businesses lining here. So if you want to get some ice cream, there's an ice cream shop. There's a barbecue shop down there. There's a coffee shop right here behind me. There's a place to get tacos and empanadas right here. So uh, really good food options here and a really good place to get some shade or to get some pictures right here in the heart of Puerto Plata. Now see out there a bronze statue of King Neptune. Of course, in mythology, King Neptune is the king of the sea. And uh, it's right out there. They said it was actually uh, attempted to be stolen in the 90s, but uh, it's very heavy, so they didn't make it very far with it. But this is a beautiful location. I mean, look at that water, how green and blue and beautiful it is. Now this is just beside the main road. You can actually see the tour bus right there. So we've just sort of crossed the guardrail to come down here. But there are folks hanging out on the beach down here. And it is a very nice beach. It's nice sand. Uh, and like I said, the water is just pristine. So uh, might not be a bad idea if you want to go to the beach or do a cheap beach day uh, to do it right here. And just a little bit of wayfinding for you all the way back down there. Uh, let me try to point my finger here. Right down there is actually the port area. So we've not come that far. We're not that far away from where we started our day. But my, it is so beautiful here in the Dominican Republic. Beautiful beaches. So 
So after a very steep ascent up the mountain, we made it to the very top. And this is actually a beautiful national park up here, a national forest. It actually looks like you're in a jungle, really, because there's so much tropical vegetation up here and flowers and plants of every kind and species. It was just very cool to see the botanical gardens and be able to walk through uh, just plants like I'd never seen before. So you can see all the beautiful scenery. And then we walked up to this bridge. It has this very wonderful view out over the side of the mountain. Now we've made it up to the very, very top. You can actually see uh, right here the cable car station. We're going to be taking the cable car down all the way back down to the town, which is right down there where we were earlier. But you can also see the cruise ships there. You can actually see uh, my cruise ship, the Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady there. There's an NCL ship. Um, and then on over this way is actually uh, Amber Cove, which is the Carnival Cruise Line operated port. But a beautiful vantage point up here overlooking the beautiful town of Puerto Plata. here is that amazing view and then just across from that up here on the very very top uh, of the mountain is Christ the Redeemer and no we're not in Rio de Janeiro all of a sudden this is a replica of the one in Rio de Janeiro and is actually presented to the folks here in Dominican Republic by the folks in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil just to uh, signify the great relationship between the two countries and uh, this one isn't quite as tall isn't quite as big uh, by any means as that one but it is um, a replica of that one and it does stand high atop Puerto Plata here. Turn back around to see the amazing view one more time. All right so now that we've got the great views up here we've seen the statue we've seen uh, down the port below and all the cruise ships now it's time to make the journey down via cable car. So uh, if you're a little afraid of heights like me I'm sorry you might want to look away for the next little bit of footage because we're about to be suspended high up above the village town down below as we make our way down back to near the port area. Now back in the port area of Puerto Plata Adventures for such a great day and I want to say a special thank you to my friends at Shore Excursions Group for sponsoring the video today for sending me on this excursion. I had a lovely time and folks if you've never used Shore Excursions Group before to book your cruise excursions I encourage you to go check out their website. I'm actually putting a link down below where you can go and check out their excursions. If you have a cruise coming up soon I encourage you to go take a look because they're often going to have the cheapest prices. I know they're going to sell much cheaper than the cruise lines are selling you for you're gonna get independent shore excursions. You're not gonna be on a big charter bus full of people. I think we had like 14 people on our group. Small group tours, cheaper than what you can get with the cruise line. They are gonna get you back to the ship on time. The ship likes to scare you and say, if you book an independent excursion, you might not get back to the ship on time. That rarely happens because these independent tour operators in these countries, they have a lot riding on the experience that you have. And if someone goes on their website and says, I missed the ship, they didn't get me back on time, that's gonna shut them down. They're gonna get you back to the ship on time. It's two o'clock right now. This was a four and a half hour excursion. So we still have, I think, three hours, three and a half hours until we have to be back on that ship. So uh, a fantastic day. Thank you again to Short Excursions Group. And y'all, Short Excursions Group is something I've used for many, many years. Long before I was doing YouTube, I was using Short Excursions Group. It's so easy. You can even go on their website, just put in what cruise you're going on. 
You can pick the ship, the date, it'll pull up all of the ports you're going to, and you can book excursion after excursion after excursion for every port on your itinerary. So you definitely want to use Shore Excursions Group when you're going on your next cruise to book your excursions. And they have great offerings, not just here in the Caribbean, not just in Alaska, but all over the globe. So make sure you check out Shore Excursions Group, again, using the link that I'll put down below in the description. But I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, go down below, smash that thumbs up button as it does help out my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already because I have much more cruise and travel content to come very, very soon. Folks from the Dominican Republic, my name is Zach. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.